Well, uh, ultimately, you're, you're looking for the, uh, the perfect curve, the perfect uh, symmetry. You want something that just looks and feels and smells and sounds as it's turning just wonderful. And occasionally you come up with something that comes close, but I, I don't think I've reached that goal quite yet. Well, my name is Marty Chapman. I'm a wood turner. Uh, that means that I take wood in some fashion or another, put it on a lathe, and then turn it into something else. I apply a tool to it at high speeds, and at the, as it revolves at high speeds, I apply a sharp tool to it, and it causes it to shape into something something different. I actually started turning in 2003. I had um, had a, a, a tool called a shopsmith, which was a big, uh, it was a very popular tool in the 50s and 60s. It's a tool that makes into five different major tools, but it had this lathe feature and I tried to learn how to turn on it and it was disastrous. And I went to a meeting of this club, it's called Buckeye Woodworkers and Woodturners. I went to a meeting of this club and while I was there, I was introduced to a fellow who um, was or is a teacher at the Campbell Folk School in Brasstown, North Carolina, which is one of the preeminent uh, schools for learning wood turning, blacksmithing, folk arts of all kinds, spinning, weaving, painting, they do all kinds of things. But wood turning is one of their specialties. So I signed up for the class in, in September of 2003, went down in, to, Camp, to the Campbell School in Brasstown, North Carolina, which is way west of Asheville, North Carolina in the Smoky Mountains one of the most gorgeous locations you'll ever see, took the class and was just absolutely enthralled. I work in my shop. I have a shop uh, in the back of the, behind our house. Uh, it's, it was a horse barn. The shop is uh, 24 by 36, 24 wide and 36 feet long. I'm in here probably five out of seven days a week and I'll probably get about 60 or 70 percent of my wood from our woods. The rest of it comes from uh, other people's woods. They'll call me and say, hey, we've got a tree down, or I've got some trees that aren't removed, or can you come cut a tree down? The more unusual, screwed up, messed up the wood is, often the better it is for turning. Um, I know one fella who, who says the wood speaks to him. He looks at it and it talks, well, you know, he's a little bizarre, but it's, it's, not, it's not too far removed from what it does. You look at the wood and it, 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 you, you get a sense for what can come out of that piece of wood. Well, the first step I take is to locate the wood. And after I've located the wood, I get rid of uh, any, any loose pieces that might be loose or extraneous pieces. I'll cut them off. If I'm going to do a bowl, I'm going to cut that, that long piece of wood in, into a, a usable size. I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise, and then I'm going to cut a circle out of that bowl. Now I can either do that with a chainsaw or I can do it with a bandsaw. A lathe is a, uh, a tool that allows you to spin wood at uh, a very rapid pace, and then you apply a tool, a sharp tool, to that wood. Oh, there's a whole series of important steps, but probably the most important step of all is your last cut. The very last cut that you make. That's the thing that's the most important part of, of what you do because uh, whether you have a decent piece or not depends upon that last cut. I have a pretty good idea when it's uh, completed because I don't want to do any more on it. It's done. <laughs> I like the looks of it. I like the way it feels. I like uh, what it's done and then it's finished. Uh, but most of my wood is exhibited at a gallery in Canton called Second April Gallery. And then, uh, then I have a few pieces at the Canton Museum of Art store. And I've had pieces down in the Carroll County Arts uh, Center. I've had pieces shown in a bunch of different shows. I've had a number of commissions, um, bowls and, and urns. A lot of times I'll do a burial urn for someone. Um, especially out of a special piece of wood. I don't know. I, I, I consider myself a guy that does wood turning. <laughs> if, it, if it meets somebody's definition of art, then, then that's fine.
Uh, but I just do wood turning, and if it's a pleasurable, if it makes a pleasurable object that people like, um, you want to call it art, that's fine. Um, I don't care, you know, really what you call it. It's just it's a piece of wood, and if you like the way it looks, that's kind of neat. And I'm happy to oblige you.